Okay, we've got upper body conditioning today. We're gonna be focusing on the upper body, doing moves using lighter weights for high repetition. Okay, we're gonna have one minute intervals today, 30 seconds of break in between to make sure we have enough recovery time before we get right back into it again. So we'll be mixing these isolated upper body moves with cardio style body weight moves, okay? Uh, it's gonna be pretty intense. Fives, tens, and twenties is what I have. Bottle of water, optional yoga mat, ab mat, whatever you need today. We got one move line on the ground. Other than that, you should be good to go. We'll get warmed up here. We're gonna start the intensity out quick in three, two, one. Let's get into some speedy jumping jacks. Come on, we gotta warm up the whole body today. We'll be mainly focusing on the upper body. Of course, the core and the lower body will be used as well. But today's a really all about focusing on that upper body and burning a ton of calories to show the muscle that we're building underneath. Okay, good. Keep it going, come on, a few more. We wanna get the heart rate high right now. Touch those fingertips on top, go wide with the feet on the bottom, come on. Good. Three, two, one, let's hit some squats. Let's just get the blood moving throughout the body. We'll be in plank today, so we'll be using those legs to hold ourselves up, obviously, along with the upper body. Come on. Good. Three more. Two, one. All right, down into plank. Give me two push-ups, let's go. One, two, push it to downward dog. Hold it there, feel the stretch. Right back, two more push-ups. One, two, and drop it down into upward dog, good. Good, let's do that again. Two more push-ups, downward dog. Feel the stretch everywhere, upper body, lower body, everywhere, straighten out those arms, push those heels towards the ground. Right back, two more push-ups in upper dog, just drop that pelvis down to the floor. Good. All right. Push it back into child's pose. Reach out in front of you while you breathe. Inhale and exhale. Let's get those lats stretched out. Left hand out, right hand goes on top. On the side, good. Same thing other side, right hand reaches out, left hand on top. Good, come on up. Wide feet, side to side, elephant style. Trunk, shake it up, bring it to the top, all the way up, good. Huggers, open up that chest. Get those shoulders going there, good. Up and down with the arms, up, down, up, down. Quick ballistic bounce here, shake everything out. All right, good. I'd recommend grabbing a quick, quick sip of water before we go here, because this first move is gonna tax you. All right, what we have is shuffle, double push-up. So you shuffle across, you hit the ground, two push-ups. You pop up, you shuffle to the other side, down, two push-ups. The whole way through, we got that for one minute. So pace yourself, we're going in three, two, one. Come on, stay low, you shuffle across, go down, one, two push-ups, come on. Shuffle across, you're low, you shoot down, one, Two. There you go. We're starting out right on those chest and shoulders. Okay. Remember to engage the core. Keep that back flat during the push-up. And again, we have this for a full minute. Okay. So right about this point, you're about halfway through. I want you to keep pushing. Keep focusing. All right. If at any point you got to take your break, you can do that and then you come back in. Everybody staying low, you look good. I like it. All right, don't shuffle high. Get that lower body involved. Get that core involved, come on. That's it. Keep going, four, three, two, one. Nice 30 second break, plenty of time to recover. Grab water, get your heart rate back down. We're going to press and jump shoulder press. I'm gonna go with the medium weights here. Okay, not the super light ones, not the heaviest I have, but right in the middle. Here's what we do. You crescent jump, shoulder press. You come back, other foot, okay? 
So you just step back. So you're, boom, step back, boom. Three, two, one, let's go. Push it up, come back. Push it up, come back, all right? So it's not a continual movement, right? I want you to reset, find that balance point, and then explode again, good. All right, this is sort of like doing an Olympic style move, pushing that weight over your head, right? So with each press, you're jumping, then you're coming back. Then you're jumping, then you're coming back. You could step back, you could do a little bit of a hop back, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, if you're using a little bit heavier weights, I'd recommend stepping, okay? Got some lighter weights, you can hop it, all right? Right now we're combining core stability, shoulder stamina, cardiovascular endurance, all in one crazy move here. We're getting it done. Come on, finish it out. Three, two, one, time. Way to go, 30 seconds. I'm gonna go to the heavier weights here. We got the Renegade Row coming up here. We're switching over to back. Okay, Renegade Row, in and out plank. So, you row, you row, in, out on the dumbbells, okay? That's it, left hand, right hand, then we do the in and out. Let's go, everybody out in the plank. Three, two, one, lock out that core, pull it up high. Same thing on the other side, jump it in, jump it out. In, and up, come on, in, out. Nice row here, really feeling the squeeze in the lats. Then we're engaging the core, working the cardio on the jump in and out, come on. You guys look good. That's what I wanna see, keeping that back flat during the row, okay, good. You point those heels towards the back of the room and you will achieve that. That's it. Pull, in, out. Good, let me see you guys one more time, good. I like it. Keep that mind and those eyes focused on that floor, okay? I don't want you twisting during the rows, okay? Three, two, one. Time right there, 30 seconds. Hop step, supination curl. You guys know this one, okay? We're doing a supination curl, which means as we curl up, we point out, okay? And you just hop step in between. So, that's it. A little bit of a step. You got it? All right, we're gonna go in five seconds. Everybody get ready. Pick about a medium weight here. You should really feel the burn in the biceps, okay? Let's go. Keep those elbows locked into the side as you curl, okay? And if you're not feeling this, by about 30 seconds of the way through, you know, you feel like, oh boy, I might not be able to make it to the end. That's the time when you pick up the weight. All right, you can go heavier, no problem. Or, on the flip side, if you feel like you can't make it another five seconds, you drop the weight and finish out with the lower weight, okay? At least you're still burning, you're still putting the effort in. That's what I wanna see. You guys look good. That's it, try to make it a nice fluid movement. Okay, mo movement, sorry. You just keep going. Right, you step, you curl, you step, you curl. You should be feeling it now. And the inner part of those arms, keep going. You got it. Three, two, one, time right there. Okay, body weight move here. Two times each, floor dip and two kicks. So we're up. Two tricep dips, one, two. You bring the leg up, kick, one, two. Down, one, two. You bring that leg up, start it, one, two, okay? It's not about speed, it's about depth, accuracy, trying to get a full extension on that tricep push, okay? Let's go. Three, two, one, we go. One, two dips, set our leg. One, two kicks, bring it down, one. Two dips, kick it up, one, two times. Again, I wanna see you getting low to the floor, bring that butt towards the floor. I wanna see those legs kicking up high as you can in the air. Try to straighten them out. All right, you're working core here, 
and triceps, okay? Good. Okay. One, two, up. You know, you count them out by the end of this one minute, you've probably done about 30 floor dips, okay? And that's very taxing on your triceps. You're definitely gonna feel the burn. They're definitely gonna be tired. Your core is getting tired while you're raising that heart rate, okay? Good work, everybody. These moves are designed to get you fit fast, and that's what we're doing today. Three, two, one, finish your timer. Okay, we got our lying floor chest fly with alternating leg. So here's your, if you wanna use your mat, here'd be a good place to do it, but like I said, you don't really need it here. We're up here, okay? We're gonna be performing a fly, a chest fly with the weights, but every time we raise, we alternate the leg that goes up, okay? Down and up, just like that. Let's go, three, two, one, okay? So we're working on the chest here and the core, giving that cardio a little bit of a break but you're gonna see how fast your heart rate comes up on this move too. Cause we gotta do it for a full minute and you're working upper and lower and middle all at the same time here, okay? So we're reaching the end of this first round. So we've hit chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and back all individually while mixing them in with body weight, high intensity interval training. So we're getting the job done quickly and efficiently for you today. We have another round of those same moves coming up after this. We've got a nice long break for you to catch your breath, recover those muscles, and get right back into it. I want everybody pushing until the end here. 10 more seconds, come on. Good, straighten those legs out. Keep those toes pointed in the air. Good, form matters. Three, two, one, 40 second break. We've got a nice long 40 second break. Everybody take water, recovery drink, whatever it is you need. We're getting back into it. Okay, we're gonna shuffle here and do our double push-ups again. One, two, and shuffle. And one, two, okay? We just keep going for that full minute. Now, right now you guys are probably feeling it. The chest is already sore. We've done a lot of chest today. So here's the time when I need you to dig down deeper. Get it in your mind, you're gonna finish this, okay? Come on, let's go. Everybody in position, stay low. Three, two, one, come on. Shuffle across, down. Push up, push up. Come on, across, down. One, two, up, across, down. One, two, good. Whew. Definitely feeling this move. All right, we're only 20 seconds into it. All right, so again, remember, flat back as you shoot back. Explosive energy into that plank and out of it. Nice depth on the push-up as you go up and down, okay? Come on. Whew. That's it, and if you're having trouble finishing the push-up, the knee option is always there for you. You can also go wider with the hands to make it easier. Five, four, three, two, way to go right there, 30 second break. Crescent jump, shoulder press. Okay, back to the medium weights for me. And again, here it is. Jump into the press, come back. Jump into the press on the other side, okay? That's what we're doing. It's like an overhead clean and press, basically, but we're just using two dumbbells and going for a long period of time. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Boom. Okay. Boom. All right, so you set your clean. There's your press. All right. Come on. That's it. So right now, you're hitting the core, you're working the lower body, and you're feeling it in those shoulders as you press up, good. It's a full body move with the shoulder isolation, okay? That's it. Huh. Okay, good, everybody looks good. Keep going, no time to quit here. 
If you have to and you can't do the fly on move anymore, you can't jump into it, I want you stepping down. Okay, you can even just step into that if you have to. All right, there's your modification. If we're getting down towards the end and you can't finish. Otherwise, push for eight more. Come on. Keep going. Give me two more reps. One, two. Good work, everybody. 30 second break. We got that renegade row coming up. Going back to the heavier weights here for the back. All right. So it's two renegade rows, one on each side. Then we got that in-out plank. Demo quickly here. One, two, nice and high with the elbow. In and out. All right. That in-out plank should be a little bit easier than when your hands are on the ground. You're a little higher off the ground. You should be able to get your feet up closer. Let's go. Three, two, one. Come on. Pull it. Pull. In. Out. Pull. Pull. In. Out. Come on. That's it. We're getting fit today. We're having fun. We're getting it done. All right. You guys are doing a great job. I'm just checking in on you here then. Looks really good. If anyone, if any, if I can make any suggestions, just a little bit more flat back in that renegade row, okay? I know there's a tendency to pop up. Just try to flatten it out, okay? As much as you can. I know it's getting late in the workout. We're getting tired, right? That doesn't mean we can't still focus on form while pushing our hardest, okay? The mental game is as much as a physical one right now. Keep going, everybody. Keep going. Good work. I'm gonna finish it out. Three, two, one. Way to go. Okay, going back to that hop step, supination drill. Boom. Boom. All right, I'm gonna try to heavy up the weight a little bit on this one. Feel a little bit more. If you can do the same thing at home, go ahead and do that. All right, we got 10 seconds in our break though. Take it, enjoy it. We're going in four, three, two, one, come on. So it's just sort of like a step with a little bit of power behind it, okay? At some point, for a very quick millisecond, both of your feet will be off the floor, okay? So it's, you see, just as you take that one, you switch in midair, it happens very quickly, but that little hop step, that is a little bit of plyometric movement into this low intensity while you're burning out the biceps, come on. And make sure when you get up on top, I really want to see those pointed out. I don't want them here, okay? That's fine, but here we're really kicking them out to supinate that. You'll work on the inner part of the bicep there. You're gonna feel the burn. Makes it a lot harder, especially with the lighter weights, okay? Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, 30 seconds. Body weight time. Floor dip into kicks, okay? Whew. All right. You guys know this one. Let's go. So we got the two dips. One, two, and then one, two. All right? Let's get it going here. Finish it out. Three, two, one. Everybody up. We dip. We dip. We kick. We kick. Come on. Dip. Dip. Kick it. Kick it. Nice and low in the dip. And I want you kicking high as you can, just like we did last time. This is round two. You guys are warmed up. I can see that you're more flexible now. I can see that you're working harder. I love it. Okay, we got another 30 seconds to go right now. So keep pushing. Push that floor away. Try to straighten those arms on that push. Try to straighten those legs on that kick. The straighter you get those arms, the more you're gonna work the triceps, okay? It's that simple. Push off the bottom part of the heel of the hand. All right, let's go. Whew. Let's go, guys. Four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. We got that line on the ground. Chest fly with the alternating legs. Scissor. 
We're up here. Open. Close. Down. And up. Everything hovers for the full minute if you can. If you gotta put the legs down at any point as you're switching, that's okay too. Everybody back. Three, two, one. Up. Down. Up. Good. We're getting it done today for sure. Whew. Good. Let me see you guys. Good. Nice. Straighten out those legs if you can. I like it. Everybody looks good. All right. We haven't had a bonus round in a while, so guess what? Today we got one. And we're really going to focus solely on that upper body for the bonus round. So you guys keep pushing it for the next 25 seconds, and then we're going to take it into the bonus, all right? Got a nice long break coming up, though, to recover. We've got a lot of muscle work left to do. 15 seconds. Keep going. I want to see them nice and wide as you open. Bring them in. You squeeze the middle of that chest as you come up. You're keeping those legs nice and straight as you scissor them out, and you have that toe pointed to the back of the room. Three, two, one. Come on up. 40-second break right now. We're going right after the upper body. First thing we're doing is pulling. Four hammer rows, four hammer curls. We worked the inner part of the bicep on those supination curls. Now we're going to go to the outer part for the hammers, okay? So this is 90 seconds of four and four. So you got to remember how to count here. All right, so you got one, two, three, four. I want you to come up. Elbows in. One, two, three, four, okay? We're pulling for a minute and a half. If you need to drop your weight at any point, please do so. Three, two, one, come on. Pull, two, again, flat back, three. Elbows come high, four. Now, elbows locked into the side. I'm not shaking them up here, I'm not moving them. I'm not swinging them like this. Keep it locked in. That's how we do it, okay, good. Let me check the form. Good, nice work. Good, everyone's got a nice flat back. Come on up, lock those elbows in, good work. Good work. Everybody looks great. All right, you guys keep that form. And you got no problems all the way to the end. You got another minute left, though. Go ahead. Remember, dropping the weight is always an option. I know this is hard for 90 seconds, okay? You count up how many reps you did of each in 90 seconds, you'll be amazed at how much you're pulling off. We're not doing eight to 10 reps here or 15 reps. We're pushing through for 90 seconds, as many reps as we can, nonstop with good form. You guys are doing great. I don't care what weight you're using right now, as long as you got that burn going, which I'm sure you probably do. Good. That's it. Up and. We got just about five seconds left here. Finish it out. Four, three, two, one. Grab some water while we sit up now for our push. We got four shoulder presses into four overhead tricep extension. I'm gonna lighten the weight a little bit on this one. So here, we got, let's go inward press. We did outward earlier, so one, two, three. On your fourth one, you leave it up and you go behind your head. Try to bring your elbows in if you can. We do four here. Okay, four and four for 90 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Inward press, one, two. That inward press will set us up nicely for right here. And we shoot back with the triceps. Remember, you're finishing behind you. So we got our four shoulder presses. Now when you go to the tricep, I want you starting back a bit, okay? Not up here, you don't finish up here. You finish behind your head a little bit, just like when we're laying down. That keeps the tension on the tricep the entire time, good. Let me see you guys. Nice work, good. I see good speed on some, I see nice control on others. Whatever makes the burn happen for you, okay? If you're using lighter weight and you wanna get that burn, you can push with some speed, okay? If you're using heavier weight, you might need to slow it down a little bit, stay in control. Either way, at the end of this 90 seconds, you're gonna feel that burn. I see people dropping or changing weights, good. It. The point is here, if you're pushing yourself for 90 seconds, make it count, all right? 
Don't, don't do it with one pound weights if you can do it with tens, all right? Challenge yourself, make it work. You're here doing the work. Make it benefit for you, okay? Come on. You give it your all, you're gonna get everything out of it that you want to. Come on, 15 seconds left. That's it. Good work, everybody. We're still going. I see people struggling, but I know you're still pushing. Three, two, one, time. Woo, 30 seconds. We've reached the last move, okay? It's a long bonus round today. Four push-ups, four knee elbows. So we're gonna do we'll work on that chest, shoulders, and tricep again, and we're gonna hit the core here. So if you gotta do the push-ups on your knees here, no problem, but we got one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, that's what we got for 90 seconds to finish this one out. Let's go, three, two, one. Let's go, I'll show you on the knees too. So one, two, three, and four. As you pop up here, you come right into plank, and then you do those alternating knee to elbow, okay? We're gonna finish it out. We hit shoulders, we hit chest, we hit triceps, we hit biceps, we hit back, okay? We work the lower body, we're still actively working the core the entire time. All right, so this upper body focus, full body extravaganza, burns you out. You got one minute to go in this workout. Come on. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So even when you're in plank, you gotta work that core. You gotta keep it stable and solid. So you're working the center part of the core, and then as you bring those knees to those elbows, you're hitting the obliques. We're closing out the live workout week right now. It's in fine form, everybody's doing great. All right, good. 25 seconds to go, and I don't care if you're taking a break, I know it's a lot of push-ups. You always have the knee option. You can go there to finish it out. And if you still can't do them on your knees, you're welcome to take a break at any point and then come back in and give it your all. But you only got 10 seconds left. Let's see if no one can stop now for the next 10. Come on. And three, two, one, time. Come on up, everybody. Way to go, way to go. Uh, the slower people get up, the harder I know it was. I still see some people on the ground right now, so that means... <laughs> All right, that's it, way to go, way to go. We still got one down. All right, he's up, good. All right, way to go, everybody. Thanks so much for working so hard today. This is a tough workout. Let's just get a nice, quick stretch in. Wide feet, let's just go up and pull wide. Open up that chest right now. Up, pull wide. Try to get those elbows back to the back wall of the room. Okay, that's where I wanted to go. Obviously, you can't go there, but that's the point. That's where you want to put them. Good. Now, palms together, palms up, and open up. Good. Now you're trying to get those fingertips towards that back wall. Really, really feel the stretch there. Good. Open it up. Okay. And lean over to the side. Everything we just worked, getting stretched out. Good. We just made ourselves other side better fitter, faster, stronger, more flexible. Okay, we upped our endurance game. Let's go down, both hands on the ground. Right hand shoots up into the sky while left hand remains down. Good, other side. So once again, we didn't do 10 reps. Let's take a two and a half or three minute rest. Let's go right into Cobra here. Everybody down. We just pushed our hardest. As, we could, as hard as we could and put as many reps as possible in, okay, in that one minute time period or that 90 second time period, depending on what part of the workout we were in. Good. Let's go into downward dog. Good, feel the stretch here. Roll those fingertips forward as much as you can. Good. All right, come on up. Let's just close it out here. Some high knees, just walk. All right. You're gonna feel it here in the lower core as you're pulling those knees up. Good, and then just out with the legs, out. That's it, up and out. Open up those hip flexors, that's it. Very nice. All right, good. Now just bounce it out side to side, let the arms shake, let everything get loose. Neck, you know, let the eyes droop, everything's just, let it all out, let all that excess 
the tension you got filled up from all that weight lifting out of your body. Good. Shake it out. Now, quick, let's open up here. Pull down on the fingertips, open up your wrists, forearms, biceps right here. Good. Same thing, other side. Just open it all up. And one quick shoulder stretch, grasp behind you. Pull the shoulders together like you're pinching something between your muscles in your back and just reach down three two one done way to go another great week of workouts done you guys totally totally killed it today i know that was a hard one different formats so check the schedule for next week because i will be sporadically teaching i'm on vacation but i'm going to try to get a few classes in if you're on the on demand live guys know what i'm talking about otherwise i'll see you guys uh very soon when i get back and i'll see everybody in the cool down room all right have a great rest of your day.